We are following that breaking news from the Blackhawks. The team has placed veteran winger Corey Perry on waivers and intend to terminate his contract for unacceptable conduct. A hallmark of a successful professional sports franchise is its ability to handle adversity. The Chicago Blackhawks have faced a fair amount of it in recent seasons, on and off the ice. There's a distrust with the Blackhawks right now. The Blackhawks aren't getting the benefit of the doubt uh, with a lot of the fan base. They haven't been as forthcoming with the things that fans really want to know. Another one of those hallmarks, the ability to earn trust. Uh, thank you everyone for being here today. Um, first and foremost, I want to start off by reiterating the organization is committed to a culture of accountability and upholding our values across our employees and players both on and off the ice. Upon learning the uh, findings of the investigation, we made the decision to terminate his contract. These decisions, these situations are extremely hard. We operate under the microscope with our fans, with the public, with media. But transparency is not done in isolation, and it does not equate to immediacy. Every day we have to continue to earn the trust of our fans with the decisions that we make. As for the team, it's the Blackhawks' job to grow the game. Give back. Connor, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Compete. And along the way, there will be moments of adversity. I just, I want to say I'm proud of everybody today, right? Like that was not an easy game, not an easy day, but it shows that we have something in here. But new leaders rise. One-timer, Dickinson, score! Leaning on ones already in place. Growth isn't linear, but if you trust in a common goal, growth comes nonetheless. I think we've really tried to define our leadership here at the Blackhawks clearly with values first. I believe strongly in accountability. Kyle was going to continue to grow into be a great general manager and a great leader of the organization. And in this case, Kyle has stepped in some very difficult situations, both on and off the ice, made those hard calls, and he's done it with empathy. And I think that's what really stands out to me is his heart. He continues to put the organization first and make the right calls. One of those calls was hiring Luke Richardson as head coach in 2022. In his second season at the front of the bench, the former player of more than two decades has picked up on when his voice needs to be heard and when it's time for another. Luke knows what it takes to be a great professional both on and off the ice in this league. He provides a great resource to the players as someone that has sat in their seat for a long time. You know, I think it's a great fit for, for the leadership to, to grow within that room and, and under Luke's guidance. So let's make sure we make it a difficult night for him. He loves getting up and having an easy night if you turn off him. Bump him every time. Bump him, make it really difficult for him. How's everybody? Uh, starting here, we got NC, Dickey, Andy, Blast, Seth. You have to be consistent in the messaging to players. I think they uh, rely on that. We can't sit back and wait for someone else to do it. We have to encourage everybody to be part of the team and, and do it together. Turn away, move back in front, he scores! Lucas Reichel! Fabry around Kaiser. Fabry scores. Perron. Comper scores. Oh, it's pretty, pretty. We can't be playing like that. You know, it's a privilege to be out there, and we're just not doing anything right now. by Chisholm, and Connor Bedard lights the lamp. From the left wing circle, Morgan Barron with a hard wrist shot. We are losing games. Are we in the game? Sure we are. There's been a couple of stinkers, but don't get frustrated. Don't grip the stick. We got work to do, and let's work it together. Marco 
Rossi bounces the puck in past Peter Morazic. And for the Hawks, uh, they lose all three games on this road trip, unfortunately. A couple of good efforts, but uh, just had no points to show for it. It's not just about the X's and O's or whether somebody scores a goal or, or doesn't. It's about, you know, human achievement and human failings. Amidst a losing streak, it's important to maintain focus on the bigger picture. That's where your dressing room leaders come into play. This season, tenured players Connor Murphy, Nick Foligno, and Seth Jones are permanent alternate captains. But prior to the start of the campaign, General Manager Kyle Davidson announced that the team wouldn't name a captain, leaving a void that needs to be filled in the future. Let's see how you know it pans out. Sometimes people emerge as that captain, and maybe sometimes you need a year or two to figure that out. It's hard to make those decisions, so we want to make sure we make the right one. We've been dealt some blows this year that have, have hit our leadership group, but I think the ones that are here are, are really picking up the slack. We have lots of young guys, and they look to those leaders, so we count on them a lot to run that dress room. Let's set the pace and keep our shift legs short and go, uh, go from there. All right? First period. Ready, sir? Oh, oh yeah! Oh. All right, it's time to respond here as a team and to a man in here. It's time. Give me something after each game here. Exie! Oh! Dixie! Oh! Oh! Andy! Oh! Oh! Tanner! Oh! Oh! Murph! Oh! Oh! Raz in the f***ing white box The leadership group has stepped up and, and kind of guided these guys to what, what needs to be done here. Nick always giving his two cents, which is always amazing and always in the right direction. We got a long ways to go. But it just shows there's there is a mindset you need to have. Channel it. Like not like okay and we, we arrived. We haven't arrived. It's just it's there. So now you gotta find it every time. We definitely need to grow and mature as a team. And that doesn't mean we don't have any older guys with maturity and some leadership qualities from other teams that they've been captains or assistant captains or leaders. Those leaders are who they are. They'll always be leaders in here and help grow those younger guys to be just as vocal and bring those leadership qualities out of them, make them feel comfortable. When it's their turn to say something, they should have value in saying something and everybody should value it as well. When we become a stronger team like that, off the ice, we'll become a stronger team on the ice. Starting with two. Yeah, the far dot. Who's going, we got it? We'll start down here, okay? Yeah. Hey, ready for the bump back here, maybe. And they rim it, ready for me to bump it back. You have guys that have always been there, like Connor Murphy, a very even keel, well-spoken guy that just kind of tells it like it is, doesn't get too up or too down. Z, strong reverse, strong reverse. Strong reverse, strong reverse. Hey, hold up. Reese here, hold up, come to the weak side. Like Blast and Jones do a really good job of when it comes up. Sometimes, like, sometimes, like, like being able to just stop and then carry it this way. You know, I never do that. I'm not like confident enough to like know the guys on the right side, but they do a good job of that. Cause that create. Cause it's, I think the best thing you can do is like bring it back up. Cause everyone's shrinking on that rim. You know. But. I like being the guy to play with the younger guys and knowing what they're going through and the mental side of it. Having a group of younger guys, it's easier for them to feel comfortable and have people going through the same situation that they were going through. I think that helped me in my first couple of years. It's not easy day to day, and I think that's the hardest part is trying to find your game consistently, playing every odd night in the NHL, which you're not used to doing that in junior. Being here years before and seeing the way older players acted in the community and and given back. They went through winning the Stanley Cups here in Chicago, but they understood that to be able to do that and to enjoy that, it was because of the community and because of the fan base and showing appreciation. Connor What's Murphy, up, nice What's to up, meet man? you. you yeah, doing? good to see you. So we got uh, tickets coming your way, Sam. We want to honor you and give you. We got. I'm gonna give you the jersey here today and oh, wow. have you out to a game. We get four tickets and uh, oh, wow. take care of you, show you everything. 
the first responders have been something that have been really important and kind of hit home for us. People have sacrificed and given their time and I think put the well-being of everyone else before themselves is really just hit home and it really look up to those people. Can we get some ice time for him? That's right. Not, not for I'm me. going tomorrow. You can use the He's, center. He's... I'm dropping the first puck. Just said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. This so, is my boxer. So, yeah. <laughs> you want a you you get a picture? Yeah, let's get a picture of everyone. To be welcomed by the community, by the fans, to have allowed it to become home because of so many great people. So to be able to give back is really important and really appreciative and grateful for such an amazing city. You guys out in the community doing things for others, so it's not enough of this stuff where we get to come and pay back, or not just pay back, just show appreciation for you guys. So. Being from here, it's been really, really nice to be on the inside of things and being able to be a part of giving back to the city where I grew up. Help. This is going to fall off. Do a squat. Oh my gosh. Before she falls over. Who's, whose was this? Mine. Is it weird that it fit? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks again, Sam. Yeah, yeah. We'll see you. We'll see you soon. Stay in touch. Yeah. Thank you. Being an authentic leader means having the alignment of head, mouth, heart, and feet. Saying and doing the same thing 365 days a year. Not only do players like Connor Murphy practice what they preach, but so do their significant others. This is our first foundation volunteer of the season. This is my personal first volunteer with the Blackhawks Foundation. So it's really nice to be with the girls today. Giving back is something that we feel really fortunate to do. Digs with Dignity was formed in 2019. Um, we collect home goods and furniture from the community and we use that to help furnish homes. Shayna is a mom of two kids. She was in an abusive relationship and finally moved out and moved back in with her mom. So she's been in this place since November and we're here to help her today. When we met them two weeks ago, they had only two air mattresses on the floor and that's it. I'm really excited to see them walk through the door and see all the furniture put together and all their rooms all put together and the Christmas trees up. I'm excited to see their faces light up and I think it'll be really exciting. Something super special for you. We have a Black Hawks jersey with your name on the back. That's for you. You're welcome. Go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh yeah. I look forward to doing many more. I think a lot of the girls feel the same way of always giving back and especially being here, all the little extra things that we've put into today. I feel like everyone as a whole really likes doing things like this. A leader doesn't always assume leadership responsibilities from the get-go. For instance, take Jason Dickinson. The nine-year pro was traded from Vancouver just before last season. Learning new teammates and coaches, well, that takes time. But once he's gotten comfortable, Dickinson has flourished. At the end of last year, he made huge strides uh, as a leader, both verbally and vocally on the bench and in the locker room, but in his play on the ice. He's just playing a real hard, simple, straightaway game, and we're reaping the rewards of his confidence right now. I got low, I got low. Ski now, ski now. Nope, up top. Try to change your blade angle. If you roll it forward so that it pops the puck up, it'll make it a little bit more of a battle. Now get you in the face. 
You promise me? I'll watch it. You pinky swear? Send it across Bedard, left circle, drops it off first, and fires, he scores! Power play goal, and the Hawks take the lead on the Ducks. Back, Kirsch. Good, Deej. The way he's played and his leadership and talking on the bench, he deserves that chance to be a part of the leadership with an A on his jersey. He's worked for it. It's a huge honor to, to get that respect in the NHL. Extremely appreciative of it. I think it, it's really nice recognition from management, coaching staff, from the players as well, that they feel I, I deserve that. Worst case scenario, just find speed and be above it. If we get caught with three of their guys below their, half, their hash, yeah. so be it. We're above. I like to lead by action. I try to use my words to make a point that when I do speak, it means something instead of you know just constantly being the voice. I like to save it for the moments that it, it really has an impact. Back defending home ice, the team has some wind behind its sails. After dispatching the Ducks two nights beforehand, it's the Blues in town. One of three games left to be played against the division rivals. So what's the, the game plan for tonight? Win. Yeah. nothing like a few solid wins to help bring back the good vibes. Forwards Philip Kurashev and Lukas Reichel are no strangers as line mates. The coaching staff is actively working to find where they can make the biggest impact on the ice. Philip has shown progress over the past four seasons with the Hawks. Philip Kurashev is becoming a complete hockey player. He has the ability to play with a high-end talent and he also has the ability to check the other team's high-end talent. He's still young and still growing. As a 21-year-old forward, Lucas is still finding his footing, going through the ups and downs of a full season in the National Hockey League. There's still a lot to sort out. Who can be on the line with Connor Bedard? You know, we thought Reichel at one time, but that's a question mark. He needed to take a step back. And I think he agreed. He said, I have to play better. And I said, you know, you have to work your way up the lineup now. And he was fine with that. Here he goes. Reichel scores! Oh boy, does that feel good for Lucas Reichel. Up north at Wrigley Field, Philip and Lucas are taken in the delights of a Chris Kindle market. That's a German holiday market, as building chemistry off the ice helps build chemistry on the ice. Thank you. Tough. Really good. good. Really good. <laughs> Ten. 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 Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> good energy. One jambon and one tradition. Yeah, it doesn't matter how it smells. It's tasty. Ten for me too. So good. Unreal. <laughs> Can we go inside mm. for a little? There's like. Whoa, basketball. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, das ist so Glück. <lacht> yes. First to one or how many? Oh my god. Don't watch them. Okay, we gotta get one. <laughs> nah, redemption. You don't think you make one yet? No. Are you kidding? I gotta make one. Edit it. <laughs> Edit it out. First try. Not bad. Yeah, but you wanna do this one or this one? I'm scared of this one He's though. Scared. Go for a race down the slide. Can we do a race? Okay, I go on the. Which one is faster though? This one or blue? Yeah, blue and green. Alright, I'll go blue. Oh, no way! <laughs> yes! What a win! <laughs> that was quick. Take the blue lane, it's the fastest. <laughs> Handling adversity isn't easy. It can be difficult, it can be painful, and messy. But on the other side is a just reward, experience. And from that experience comes new leaders. You just need time to find who they are, what they believe in, if they're ready. The season's still so young, and there's plenty of time for players to grow as leaders, to grow in that room and grow their influence amongst their peers and so we'll continue to look for them to do that. Some you know, have assimilated and grown into those roles quicker than others but it's just it's all about opportunity. You have to have patience and be able to take criticism for it but stay the course is going to be the way we like to do it here and uh, hopefully we see the benefits down the road. He's the puck court. He's obliged now Nick Foligno scores! I've said from the start that this is about building a team. It's not about one player fixing the fate of an organization. That's not how it works in hockey. That's not how it's going to work here. There are going to be ups and downs. There's going to be exciting times. There's going to be frustrating times. And that's all part of the build. It's all part of the journey. And, uh, you know, in the end, we're committed to doing this the right way. And we're not looking for any quick fixes. When we get back to where we want to be, we want to stay there.